Bonjour la classe. Good morning class and how are we this morning? Today we'll be learning about socials, English, and math. Please open application Google Earth to commence socials lesson. If you require assistance during any point throughout the lesson, please go to the program Madame Wallace for assistance. Have a great day. I use them all sorts of things. I use cell phones, iPods, anything that kids carry with them in their pockets. And you can do anything from basic internet searching, things like that for activities for in class, or you can create your own lessons that are played on the actual iPods and cell phones. I think they should. They have them in their pockets and we need to, as educators, learn how to use these tools because the kids have them in their pockets all times. We will always know a cell phone, we will always know an iPod, and we need to learn how to use these tools for learning. There are always numerous possibilities. There's always a plan A, B, and C in place. If someone doesn't have a cell phone, they can use an iPod. If they don't have either of those two, they can borrow one of mine. If that's not an option, there's always paper. It's not to say that we need to relinquish, you know, banish all paper. Things can be printed off. Students can use that traditional methods while others use electronic methods. Not everyone has to have the same things to be able to have an effective lesson. I like to create my own iPod lessons that I do via screencasting the lessons that I've created on Keynote or PowerPoint. Um, I'll create my own lessons at home. I'll give them to the kids on their iPods or they go to the website and download them. And then the students play them back. They have things, activities and worksheets to fill in afterwards. And a lot of times the kids get really good and want to do this themselves. So then they can create their own lessons. So you give each student or a group of students a particular lesson they're supposed to do, whether it be math, socials, English, or French. And they can create their own PowerPoint and it can be played on an iPod. And then it's a student generated lesson that the other students get to watch. I don't find that an issue at all. It's one of my things that I get criticized on the most. I don't care if there's no computer time. Kids get it done. And there have been a, numerous assignments where I've given no computer time whatsoever. And they end up coming up with these amazing movies. And I just don't give them any barriers. All I tell them is the assignment and I need it by this date. And it needs to be a movie. I'm not unreasonable if someone comes to me and says, hey look, you know, I really can't do a movie. Could I do something else? If you have another suggestion, I will by all means look at it. But when there's no computer time, perfect. Go and find some other way to do it, and every single time, 10 out of 10 times, they always come in with everything finished. It's never an issue. They come up with their own ways. Now there's an application online right now with the iPod Touch. You can create your own apps. So kids can actually use this application to make their own apps, whether they be educational, they can be for math drills, they can be for all kinds of things. Kids can be given grammatical concepts or concepts that you're using within a unit and they can create something electronically that they can spread towards the other students. So basically they're teaching a lesson. They create the lesson that can be viewed on the portable device. Jump and lock it, sir. 